okay, I'm back. Are you there? Okay. But I, I just don't know about this. This oh. is sad. It really is. Have you talked with Willie Dean Johnson? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I said, have you talked with Willie Dean Johnson? Um, I'm guessing that's his nephew. Yes, ma'am. I will call him next, but my name is Dr. Spolga has also been speaking to Willie Johnson about hospice. I mean, this here, I don't see how this got the hospice like that. I mean, I know how hospice come about and all that. But something happened to Larry in the care at your facility. It really did. I know you're very much focused on that, but I'm really trying to focus on what to do for him now. I know that. I mean, you cannot uh, excuse or you know, avoid the fact that something happened to Larry at your facility, Dr. Lagona. It, it really did. And I had them made plans. Well, I had them went up there and actually getting the equipment, the, the information together for to get him off and up there. Then when I, that was on the 18th, then I went back on the 21st. Larry, only thing he was able to do was say, he did say hey to me and said, and, at, and I asked him what was my name. He did tell me what my name was. Then he went back to sleep. And I understand that, but I don't know what to do for him at this point. Like I said, there's only so much the medication they're going to do. At this point, I just I mean, I, I mean, the suggestion is Larry just about done came to his demise at your facility. That's what don't happen at Piedmont Medical Center. It, that's what don't happen to him. And as I've mentioned before, you know, I think that this is hypoxic injury that caused a lot of his encephalopathy and on top of that COVID pneumonia and he's not making any progression of his disease. You know, we've treated him as, as best as our facility can and I've you know, but but Dr. Legrano, but what happened to him on August the twelfth when he asphyxiated all those on his medication? He aspirated then, and he had to be incubated in intensive care. The nurse helped me then, said he had some medication in his mouth, and then I went up there myself and, and seen some medication that's sitting in his room, and that was on and that was July the eighteenth, and I had to go get the charge nurse to get his attendant nurse to give him his medication. Again, I wasn't there at the time, so I couldn't tell you what happened that day specifically. And I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, uh, y'all just don't mess Larry up. That's what don't happen. And you read her just going on and call hospice in. They're going on and just kill him on off. They cover up y'all mistakes. That's what don't happen. That is exactly what don't happen to my Uncle Larry Bright. Y'all just don't mess them up. And they don't tell how many other patients don't came to their demise under y'all care anyway. It is sad to say that, but it's the truth. They don't tell how many people y'all don't, don't did like this right here and they just gone on and shot them on up with that hospital medication and just let them went on. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way again. When I spoke with you last time, you were thanking me for what I was doing. So I, I, I thought I, you were trying to I do something, but you ain't. I feel, I feel terrible that you feel that way now. I'm serious. It is the truth. I will, I will give his nephew a call and do my best to explain the thing that I've explained to you. Okay, we'll do that then. All right. Do you have any questions for me that I can help with? No, it just said how y'all just don't mess land up. It really is. Larry was not in this shape like this right here. Y'all just don't mess Larry up. I'm for real. This is exactly what don't happen. They ain't don't tell her how many people y'all don't did like this here. They don't tell her how many people in their grave because of doctors like you. And you cold-hearted too. You ain't got no concern about nobody. You really use a cold-hearted doctor. You really is Dr. Legrona. But you go ahead on the call, Willie Dean Johnson, and tell him this. And, and besides, Larry got more other family members beside me and Willie Dean. Again, I'm sorry you feel that way. I feel like you, you gave me different sentiments about what I was doing for him in the past. But you, uh-uh, you ain't been doing nothing. You, you cold-hearted. You really is. And, it's, and your mind is just stuck on trying to go on and kill him off and call hospice and palliative and all of that. Ain't no telling how many folks you don't kill. 
But God knows how many you don't did, though. This is a shame. All right, well, I'll give him a call and um, he needs anything to give us a call, okay? Okay.